Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly horoscope for the week of um, September 25th through October 1st. Um, we're pulling three cards. First, just to kind of see what's going on right now in your life. Second, to see what part of you is coming up to be heard. And then third is how can you nourish that part? Like what can you do to make that part of you feel heard? Okay? So we're going to get started. Leo, what's going on with you this week? Mm, happiness. But it was upside down. So unhappiness. Just deep despair. Do not take this wrong when I say this, but you want to be worshipped. You want to be loved for who you are. And you want who you are to stand out to the point that other people naturally just see it. You want to be treated like royalty. Okay? You are royalty. You are very worth everything. The entire world, you are worth. So when you don't have that, it takes a toll on you. And you'll be fine sometimes, but then other, si other times you'll start treating the people around you like peasants. So I think that's something that's coming up right now, is you just feeling unhappy. Um, what is the part of you that's coming up to be dis uh, listened to, heard? The Cyclops. Okay. The part of you that wants to be heard is the part of you that only sees things one way. It's the part of you that knows that you need someone else and the tools to achieve your goals. but isn't sure how to work together with the other people around you. It's the part of you that doesn't know how to be around other people and be successful and take charge in a situation when they are triggering you and you're triggering them. So this is just the part of you that has a hard time being successful around people and things and situations that don't seem, don't have you in a good light right now, don't make you look good, okay? So how can you nurture yourself? How can you make that part of you feel heard? Lean into the fact that you are worthy. You deserve to be treated like royalty. You're living poetry. You're a living work of art. You could be so many other people's muses. And I'm sure that you are somebody's muse at some point, at some time. It's just sometimes you may not stay their muse. You might actually give them a bad taste in their mouth. But... How can you nourish this part of yourself and make this part of yourself feel heard? Remember that your worth comes from the divine. Your magic, your beauty, your, your skills, your power, all of that comes from the divine. You don't need validation from other people. You don't need other people to technically agree with everything that you're saying and or even like you to come on board with your ideas when you're making sense. When you are in charge of yourself, other people will allow you to be in charge of them. If that makes sense, okay? You have to remember, you're writing your own story anyway. So you're living poetry, but it's a poem that you're writing. What do you want it to say? 
There might have been hardships. There might have been shitty points. You might have hit a rock bottom. That's cool. Now what? How are you going to take that and release it, become stable, build a stable foundation, and go from there? How are you going to turn it around and make people be like, oh, damn, that's a good example. I'll follow that. Okay? So I hope that, that helped you. I love you. I hope you have a great week.